what now? I did not think that I'd make it out alive. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, I was going for like the mermaid look today. You know, the mermaid's crimps. That is what I was aiming for. I know that it looks a bit big up here and a bit flat at the bottom. Yeah, this is my, this is the result of my hair. A bit of a failure, I know. But it still looks a little bit crimpy and mermaid-like, so I'm kind of happy with the result. I really like my hair, but with the heat and humidity, it just goes So it's a bit difficult to manage. I am actually on my own hair care journey at the moment. I'm actually trying to not use any heat on my hair whatsoever. I'm also trying to use more amla oil, vatica oil, and I recently actually used rice water on my hair. So I'm going to try and stay consistent with the rice water trend. I know that it is a trend, but it's also something that apparently works really well with hair growth and hair volume. It also prevents hair loss as well. I've also heard of several other different hair masks. It is quite fun to be resourceful with what you already have at home, especially when it comes to hair care. But I think already my hair is starting to look a little bit shinier. I've used rice water once, but I just spray some of my hair, leave it in for an hour, and then I wash it off with shampoo and I heavily condition my hair and it looks really shiny. Also, another thing, I've dyed my hair brown. I'm brunette now. <laughs> this color is maybe a little bit more coppery than my natural color, but it's still a nice light brown, like medium brown color. So I was really happy with that. So I have my Tab S7, okay? I don't know if it was the Pomodoro video. I had my iPad, but I will also make another video about this, whether the iPad or the S7, Samsung Tab S7 is better. I personally prefer this, especially when I'm taking notes. I feel as if because I enjoy the artistry of writing your own notes. I love this because I feel as if this picks up my handwriting so much more. It's a lot more sensitive to my unique handwriting. And even when I wrote my notes just now to plan this YouTube video, the notes themselves just look so much. I enjoy looking at them so much more than I would if it was on an iPad. I get very satisfied when I see notes that are organized and you can use different fonts, different pen styles. You can't really do that on an iPad. You can, but it's a lot easier to navigate, in my opinion. So I'm obviously studying in Egypt. It's not exactly around the corner from the UK, is it? It's very different, the culture is different. And I think if I'm doing a day in the life of a dental student in Egypt, I should definitely make it more relatable as someone who is a student, I should show the ups and downs, the stressful moments. For example, driving in this country is horrendous. You've probably had one or two times if you're here, if you live here, where you feel like you're going to die. The way that people drive here, everyone thinks that they have the right of way. People walk straight onto the road in front of cars, in and out buses, it's crazy. To have eyes everywhere at all times. Now that I am back, I want to post more realistic content more consistently. Just more accurate to what my life is actually like. I am a student, so I am constantly either going to university, studying, eating. <laughs> Half the time when I'm out in Egypt, I'm too hot, my makeup is like sweating off, if I wear makeup that is. And it's just very busy, very intense, very exhausting. There are times when I do enjoy it and there are times when I don't enjoy it. So I need to show the highs and lows. That is what I'm planning to do. I just want to make it overall more relatable. So let's talk about why I've been away from YouTube for so long. I think the last time I posted was January. We need to talk about this. First of all, we started seeing patients and you can guess, yes, I have to speak to them in Arabic. To be honest with you, I didn't really want to focus on YouTube when I knew that I would have clinics that I was being assessed in as part of my overall grade. I needed all the help I could get and I didn't want to focus on YouTube at that time. It was just really stressful for me. Communicating with patients is very important. The patient needs to gain trust in your abilities as a medical professional. In order to do that, you need to communicate effectively. And I think, yes, YouTube is on the side for me. It's very much something that I enjoy and it's my hobby. I'm here for dentistry and that is my main goal. So. If I'm not doing that correctly, then what's the point in everything else? So it's very challenging to have dentistry, the language, which is a huge one on its own, and also living here, 
staying healthy, having a good routine, having a good sleep pattern, studying, making sure you stay on top of everything. I didn't want to start back again on my YouTube until I knew my plan going forward for all of these three things. The language, my course, dentistry, and my routine, my schedule, everything I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I wanted to make sure that everything was set. Okay, so another thing that I want to touch on is the clinics and the clinical environment, okay? On a weekly basis, I have three to four clinics for different subjects. Each subject requires different equipment. Or if I'm using equipment that I will need for the following week that I've used on that previous week on a patient, that obviously needs to be sterilized, that equipment. So I, I have to be really organized. There's so many things that you need to do to make sure that you are organized. And I just simply didn't have time for YouTube. Maybe because it was the first time that I'd tasted that level of organization and I wasn't very good at it and I couldn't juggle my time very well, I'm not really sure. But my plan in the future is to be so good at that organizational stage that I can fit YouTube in. Okay, so we also have exams for each subject. This semester wasn't so bad because we only have one, had one subject, that was anesthesia. <laughs> Second semester, we had seven subjects, okay? So that absolutely killed us. And I'm so happy. I did not think that I'd make it out live, honestly, in second semester. It was so stressful. We have clinics, also in-class assessments, and we also have just quizzes. As well as that, we also have midterms. This usually happens halfway through the semester. After, we have more class tests, more assessments, more clinical assessments. Shortly after that, we then have our practicals and then we have our finals. So there was absolutely no breathing space whatsoever. I just wasn't willing to commit to that amount of stress during dentistry as well because I, I really did want to do well as well as I could. It was a very tough year but I wanted to do as well as I could. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy my new content coming and I'm going to try and post a lot more consistently. Thank you, thank you for watching today guys and I will see you later. Bye! Bye!